Freedom itself was attacked this morning by a faceless coward, and freedom will be defended. In a moment, a beautiful September morning turned into the modern generation's day of infamy. And as with Pearl Harbor, a day marred by tragedy, also became a day of exceptional heroism and selflessness. Marines were among the first responders when our nation fell under attack on September 11, 2001. They, along with other citizens, joined the throng of firefighters and emergency personnel risking their own lives to help the many victims. And I saw, we saw about a platoon size of firemen, about 20 some firemen standing in, in like a platoon formation. And I walked up to him, I said, this is Staff Sergeant Carnes from the Marine Corps. To your knowledge, has anybody been conducting throughout the day search and rescue operations in the epicenter of the collapse? They said, no, Marine, if you go in there, you're gonna die. We could see the 16 acres and there was nobody in there but us. We started yelling out at the top of our lungs, United States Marines, is anyone here? We would listen and then, then proceed about 10 meters and then stop and yell again. We could hear some muffled cries for help coming from what was once the depression of the South Tower. I said, who do we have down there? And they said, two PAPD police officers. They gave me their, their names. He had heard us yelling out, United States Marine Corps. And he, he said to his partner who was trapped with him, Sergeant McLaughlin, he says, he says, Sarge, the Marines are here. We're gonna get rescued. He knew that once he heard United States Marine Corps that they were going to live. <laughs>